Okay, the uh, cricketing sound is back again. I'm sure it's audible now. If I accelerate, then of course the noise will go away. And once again, this is caused by a metal washer in the high pressure fuel pump. And it only happens with fuels that have very high alcohol content. In the case of this GT86 boxer, I've always used um, uh, Shell V Power Nitro Plus, which is uh, rated at RON99 here in the UK. And this load of fuel has been um, it has been filled up uh, to to full tank exactly a month ago, and the um, so STP uh, what do you call this? I think it's a five in one engine treatment cleaner kind of uh, additive was added to the tank. So I guess that also has a little bit of alcohol. Um, maybe, maybe not, but um, this is one of the loudest I've uh, had this cricketing noise. And the noise did go away when the fuel prices were really cheap um, in the middle of this year, uh, 2015. Um, I, and I think when oil prices fell, what Shell did was they increased the uh, uh, content of uh, fuel in the petrol made from uh, actual petroleum and reduce the alcohol content but now that the fuel prices uh, sorry the oil prices are going back up uh, I think they've, they've uh, added alcohol again so I'm going to take a walk outside the car so you can hear how loud it is from outside Yeah, it is quite loud. I'm just going to pop the bonnet open and I'm going to continue recording them. Okay, this is the origin of the cricketing sound that you're hearing. It's actually the high pressure fuel pump in there that pressurizes the fuel rail for the direct injectors. And the pump in there is driven by the camshaft directly driven by the camshaft you can see there's a cylinder head there so that's one of the cams the cams in this uh, vehicle is obviously chain driven there are two timing, uh, timing chains to operate the uh, row of cylinders there the camshaft there and the two camshafts here so um, yep uh, and so four, four overhead cams for three two on each uh, it's the bank and these are all the fuel lines, special lines. This factory here is brand new, I just installed it today. Because the old one wouldn't crank the box up. Uh, just, uh, before I start recording, I'm just going to point out that this uh, box of compression is 12.5 to 1, which is really high, so it requires a lot of uh, port to crank start. And um, the stock battery just gave up after a year and a half. And the stock battery was only rated at 390 cold cranking and um, this one is slightly higher, it's 430 but you can get some that uh, go up to 530 uh, uh, cold cranking for the same price. Alright, thanks for watching.